UK spy agency tests kids on puzzle skills in Bletchley Park-themed Christmas card. Schools all around the nation will be testing their puzzle-solving abilities as the UK intelligence agency has begun its yearly Christmas challenge. More than a thousand secondary schools received the challenge in the form of GCHQ's Christmas card, which has an uncommon photo of Bletchley Park coated in snow. It includes seven increasingly complex puzzles that test skills such as code-breaking, maths, and analysis, and encourages pupils to work as a team to reveal the final festive message. Included is a bonus puzzle that requires arithmetic and has been called the hardest so far. GCHQ director Ann Keast Butler said, puzzles have been at the heart of GCHQ from the start. These skills represent our historic roots in cryptography and encryption and continue to be important to our modern-day mission to keep the country safe. GCHQ's history at Bletchley Park is represented in this year's Christmas card as a reminder of the role this historic place has played in our wartime efforts but also as home to this year's AI Safety Summit. Our puzzlers have created a challenge which is designed for a mix of minds to solve. Whether you are an analyst, an engineer, or a creative, there is a puzzle for everyone. This is one for classmates, family, and friends to try to solve together. The highlighted photo, taken in January 1940, was found in the private family album of Joan Wingfield, who worked on deciphering Italian naval codes. Bletchley Park served as the home base for GCHQ throughout the war. In its third year, the competition seeks to encourage young people to pursue STEM fields by offering an insight into GCHQ's activities. Tesco is recalling its Christmas stuffing due to the possibility of moths. Tesco is recalling a product related to Christmas stuffing because it may contain moths. The caution was issued for Tesco Finest Apple and Cranberry Stuffing Mix 130G, according to the grocery retailer, and the best before date was September 2024. We are recalling a single batch of Tesco Finest Apple and Cranberry Stuffing Mix due to the possible presence of moths, which makes the product unfit for human consumption, the official recall notice said. The merchant advised anybody who had purchased the tainted stuffing to not consume this product, in a notice sent through the Food Standards Agency. It is recommended that customers return the goods to a supermarket branch so they can receive a refund. A receipt is not necessary. Tesco apologizes to our customers for any inconvenience caused, the statement added. After initially gaining popularity as a component of American Thanksgiving feasts, cranberries have now become a mainstay of traditional Christmas meals. Tesco has been asked for comment, however, the recall notice did not explain how moths may have gotten into the stuffing. Doritos introduced nacho cheese-flavored alcoholic drink that tastes like crisps. An alcoholic beverage that tastes like Doritos will soon be available for purchase for fans of crisps. The American company claims that a spirit will be made from the flavor of their nacho cheese snacks. Because of a collaboration with the beverage firm Empirical, it guarantees that the drink will smell and taste just like the real thing. The spirit will offer customers iconic nacho cheese flavor in a bottle, Doritos said on Tuesday. The limited release 42% alcohol will be made by using real crisps and extracting their essence through vacuum distillation, a process that operates at lower temperatures in order to preserve the flavors, the two companies said. The company stated that the new beverage, which does not fit into the typical categories of gin or whiskey, is best consumed plain or over ice, in a margarita, Bloody Mary, or an Old Fashioned. The owner of the Doritos brand is Frito-Lay Inc., a PepsiCo subsidiary that also makes popular American crisp brands including Lay's, Cheetos, and Sun Chips. Doritos is all about disrupting culture and bringing our fans unexpected, bold experiences, Tina Mahal, senior vice president of marketing for Frito-Lay North America, said. She added, we're always pushing our fans to try new things, so we figure it's time we disrupt the spirits category by offering our iconic nacho cheese flavor in a bottle. The new alcoholic beverage is now available for pre-order, and it will go on sale in a few New York and California areas next month for an estimated $65. Online retailer Temu sues fashion giant Shine, alleging mafia-style intimidation. 
The fast fashion giant Shine is facing legal action from rival online shop Temu, alleging mafia-style intimidation of suppliers. According to the complaint filed in Washington, D.C., on Wednesday, the company's campaign of threats was a part of a desperate plan to beat off its competition in the U.S. A particular accusation made against Shine is that it called Chinese suppliers it thought were collaborating with Temu to its offices, where they were falsely imprisoned for hours. It is also claimed that the vendors were threatened with consequences for doing business with their competition and that their cell phones were seized while they were being held. Shine is also accused of abusing intellectual property rights and stealing Temu's important advertising and marketing personnel. This is the most recent confrontation between the two Chinese-born competitors in the low-cost retail space. A Temu spokesperson said, We sued Shine because recently their actions have escalated. They began to illegally detain merchants, forcibly asking for their phones, stealing our merchant accounts and passwords, stealing our business secrets, and simultaneously forcing merchants to leave our platform. PDD Holdings, the parent company of Temu, filed the case, characterizing Shine's actions as part of a mafia-style intimidation campaign. A spokesperson for Shine, which is based in Singapore, said in a statement, We believe this lawsuit is without merit and we will vigorously defend ourselves. Both businesses are active in the US and the UK. The two competitors have previously engaged in legal disputes. The businesses filed lawsuits against one another in US courts last year, but in October they withdrew their claims. While Temu accused Shine of breaking antitrust rules in its interactions with apparel manufacturers, Shine had accused Temu of encouraging social media influencers to post negative statements about its company. Shine has been in discussions with the London Stock Exchange about holding a public listing in the United Kingdom earlier this week. Over a 3,600 bird killing spree, including bald eagles in Montana, two people were prosecuted. 3,600 birds, including eagles that are protected by federal law, were allegedly killed in Montana by two guys. One case of suspected conspiracy and 13 charges of breaking the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act have been brought against Simon Paul and Travis John Branson. Branson was he committing felonies, according to communications he sent to purchasers, telling them he was on a killing spree to obtain eagle tail feathers for future sales, according to federal authorities. According to the indictment, Branson would travel from Washington State to the Flathead Indian Reservation in Montana to meet Paul who would help kill, transport and ship bald and golden eagles for future sales on the black market. Paul was a shooter and a shipper of bald and golden eagles for his co-defendant, the indictment said. According to the court documents, the bald eagle is not merely a bird of biological interest, but this country's national symbol, which reflects America's ideals of freedom. In total, the defendants killed approximately 3,600 birds, including eagles, the defendants then illegally sold the eagles on the black market for significant sums of cash across the United States and elsewhere, the indictment said. According to the authorities, the murders happened between January 2019 and March 2021. Exactly how many of the 3,600 birds were protected was not stated in the indictment. The accused have been told to appear in court on January 8, but have not yet been placed under arrest. A fine of $250,000 and up to five years in jail are imposed for the most serious conspiracy charge.